iPop gives FG August 8 ultimatum for Kano release. What's up, guys? Welcome back to 2K Spark. The indigenous people of Biafra, iPop, has given the federal government the ultimatum of Sunday, August 8, 2021, to release its leader, Namdi Kano, threatening to enforce a total lockdown of the southeast region of the country should the ultimatum is not heed. The secessionist group urged governors and leaders of the region who allegedly had a hand in the arrest and abduction of Kanu and K from Kenya to pray that nothing untoward happens to him in detention. In a statement addressed to the Nigerian government, IPOP's head directorate of states, Chika Edoziem, said, should anything hurtful happen to Kanu, the land of Biafra would not accommodate any one of them. The statement read partly, The Directorate of State of the Indigenous People of Biafra is very much aware of the strategy of the government of Nigeria to subject the leader of the Indigenous People of Biafra worldwide, Mazi Nnamdi Kanu, to the media, to media trial and to convict him in the public before giving him that public conviction, an official stamp of the compromised Nigeria judicial system. The global community knows that self-determination is not a crime. The Nigerian government knows equally that self-determination does not in any way constitute any known offense stipulated in their constitution and therefore do not have any case against the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. In recognition of the above fact and truth, the Directorate of States of the Indigenous People of Biafra demands herewith an unconditional and immediate release of their leader, Mazi Namdekanu, on or before August 8, 2021, failing which we shall which they shall commence a weekly lockdown of Biafra land starting on Monday, August 9, 2021. For the avoidance of doubt, this total lockdown of Biafra land will take place every week until their leader is released unconditionally. The weekly lockdown is simply one of the measures they shall take or they shall put in place to ensure that their leader is released hale and hearty. Um, as it was reported, Kanu was arrested in Kenya and extradited to Nigeria. He has since been placed in the custody of the Department of State Services, DSS in Abuja, on charges bordering on treason and felony. So guys, this is a very, very strong case. This kind of case has been on and on and the heat is getting high. People are, people are everybody is on high alert currently pertaining to this uh, Mazin Namdekanu's case. So people are commenting, people are saying a lot of things pertaining to this. So guys, if you have anything to say pertaining to this particular issue, um, leave it in the comment section. Currently now, IPOB, they've given federal government August 8th ultimatum for, for them to release Namdi Khan that he has been in detention. So on a normal, this is a very serious case and I don't think if the federal government is definitely going to hit to that. Then IPOP have already have said that there's going to be a total lockdown in the whole of in the whole southeast region. I don't know how they plan to enforce that. I don't know how it's going to be like. But let's see how everything turns out. August 8 is just by the corner. This is very interesting. This is coming after they've um after they put adjourned the case of Mazin and the Kano to uh, I think October. So that's why they now say that federal government should release Kanu, that they want the release of their leader. If they don't release their leader, they're currently going to lock down the whole southeast region. I know what it means to lock down the whole region. No business, nothing, nothing, no income to the country. Everything is going to be on shutdown. So, and it's going to be very, very disastrous and nothing good will definitely come out of that. But is this really the best way to go? Do you think Nigeria will move forward by doing all this? Whatever is your thought on this, leave it in the comment section. What do you think is going to happen here? Do you think federal government will hit to the um, IPOP people? Or do you think federal government will go ahead to hold on to um, Kanu? Whatever is your own 
thoughts on this leave it in the comment section also what do you think will happen do you think this um lockdown will definitely take place do you think everybody in the south is do you think people majority of the people in the south is are in support of this um ipob or mazin namdekanu's arrest whatever is your thought leave it in the comment section also it's very important we know our own thoughts and our own ideas from all this happening well we are welcome once again to this forum i will keep discussing and enlightening you on politics and everything within politics thank you very much for watching see you guys next time don't forget to subscribe if you're here for the first time